but now when we come to the moral the moral side of the actual termination okay that was the creation of life now we're talking about the termination of of life but in the sense of abortion because you can also terminate life by murder by uh, euthanasia uh, what's the other in self defense uh, in defense of another there's many ways you can end life okay uh, by suicide Okay, but now we're specifically talking about abortion. So that means any life while it's still inside the host body, inside the womb. Okay, right. Now, why I also say it's a moral issue, well, why we all, most people say we all think it's a moral issue. Also, is and my personal view, this is my personal view, okay, this, I'm not saying this is what it is. My personal view is... Um, I know that... In a way, I think when it comes to politics and the legalities, like I say, it's complicated, but I do understand why the government would want to regulate these policies for this life. And I understand that the reason they do that is because, if and if they do that, is because they view this life as a life. So that's why, because... That's why they have to have, uh, there has to be some legalities for that life. Okay, so that I understand totally. Of course, other people don't understand, they don't think it's right because, but anyway, because they don't see it as a life. But for me, any government who wants to impose regulations on this life, to me, it's like they are saying, we recognize that this thing in the host body is a unique human life all on its own. So I understand that. Okay, um, Okay, so that's one part. Again, you see I'm reading my notes and so I don't know what, where to read. Okay, so now I have to go back. Okay, so now when it comes to the moral issue, so with this issue there, so now we have the two camps. We have the pro-choice people, the pro-choice movement, and we have the pro-life. So pro-choice, okay, pro-choice means um, people who want to choose who they want to have the freedom of choice on life and death, whether it's their own, well, their own life and death. So whether they want to commit suicide, whether they want to uh, be euthanized. Uh, and then the last thing is, they, like the host, which is the female, okay, the female wants to have the right over her own body, okay? Um, which is a bit different from euthanasia and suicide because euthanasia, you have the right over your own body, your own life. Suicide is your own life because you choose to die, you choose to kill yourself. But so when it comes to abortion, you cannot use that same argument because it's not your life because science has already proven that it's a separate life. But because that life, you are the host, the female is the host of that life. And it is her body, she feels, and others that support her, feels that it is her right to choose what she can do with her body. Which also makes sense, because as a female, you should have the right to choose what you wear. Whether you want to be a prostitute, whether you want to do pornography, whether you want to be a stripper, whether you want to be a topless dancer, whether you want to be an athlete, whether you want to be whatever you want to do with your body. We want ping pong balls popping out of your vagina or whatever. <laughs> whether you want to be monogamous, whether you want to be married, it's, it's all pertaining to your body. This makes a lot of sense because it's your body. You have the right to do whatever you want. Of course, although you have these rights, we must also remember that then you must also be prepared to face the consequences of these choices that you make. So if you want to be a prostitute, there's a lot of baggage that's going to come with that. So you, if you want, yeah, I'm okay, it's my body, then yeah, you should be okay if all the crap comes to, to you, right? So that makes sense. What doesn't make sense then is it's your body, but then the other life is not your body. It's a different, different life. It's a different body. The thing is, is that this life is inside your body. And a lot of women have claimed that this is, this life inside their body is actually a parasite. Of course, people get upset. Ugh. But if you think about it, 
I remember my son said that when, when he asked me when he was little, he, he, when I explained to him, because he wanted to know where he came from, and I explained he grew in my stomach, and then he wanted to know how he, he ate and all that. I said, the tube, and you know, I explained to him about the umbilical cord, and he was like, oh, so I was a parasite. So yeah, I can get it that people would think it's, it's a parasite. Okay, so a lot of women view this life inside of them as a parasite. And I think that is, this is just my opinion, okay, this is no scientific fact. I think it's because that's what they think. That's what, how they feel. Whereas other women don't. They feel it's their baby growing. You know, it's, again, this, this time it's, it's just, I don't know, it's a hormonal imbalance, whatever. Anyway, so, so this is the pro-choice people. Pro-choice is they want to have the choice to say, I'm pregnant. I have this thing in my stomach and I don't want it anymore. I need to take it out. And the thing also is because, like I said before, not everybody views a fetus or an embryo or even a, 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 a baby up to two hours before birth as a human being, as a child. They don't. Doesn't matter how much you try to put it into their brains, they just, it's somehow there's like something missing in their brain, okay? They just, they, they, don't, they don't get it, they don't get it. Uh, which of course is fine because, you know, some of us think differently. I've now come to realize that we're not all, we don't all, uh, what's name on the same frequency. We don't all vibrate on the same frequency. And um, yeah, so this is what happens. So uh, where was I with the pro-choice? Okay, yeah, so this is, so this is what they, this is what, this is what they, they are saying, okay, is, it's not a life, it's my body, I have the right to do what I want to do. Okay, so that's one thing. 